Hello, everybody. Uh, alarm malfunction this morning. <clears throat> or operator error, one of the two. I would lean more towards it was an operator error. <laughs> oh, goodness. Morning, Jimmy. Sorry, guys. One of them things. Oh. Hi, Melissa. How are you, honey? <coughs> All the mornings for my alarm not to go off in the morning. You're here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get it together. I just got the dogs let out and back in and... <laughs> My alarm didn't go off for some reason, and I'm pretty sure I know why. Uh, yeah, there we go. Because it was turned off. That's usually a good reason. Hold on, I'll get my S together here in a minute. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna. Hey, dog. What's up, guys? Let me let me get the thing pinned up there, then I'll try and figure out what I'm doing. Cause I'm definitely struggling this morning. There we go. Let's see. There's that. I got that done. Now we're good to go. I ain't even opened my Red Bull yet. Oh, man. Yep. Give me a few minutes here to get it together. I'll say hi to people. Gig, what's up, brother? Cindy, always here. Cindy, you're awesome. Yeah, that's scary, isn't it? And that could have ended so bad, so easy. Yeah, yeah, sorry to worry you guys, man. I just, there's an alarm thing. It's my fault, I ain't gonna lie. I overslept. Well, the alarm didn't go off, but it's because someone failed to set the alarm. We've got Melissa, sweet Melissa, NJ, what's up, brother? The gigster, J and J, always here, good to know, good to see you, gig ability, don't ask, and I'm not going to tell you, that's why, <sighs> hold on, am I missing anybody, wait, I'm still scrolling, oh, Uncle Lou, Uncle Lou, Hi, Uncle Lou, Hi, Uncle Lou. How are you today? <laughs> yeah, and Jay, brother. Sorry to hear. Now, we talked about it last week, I think, didn't we? I'll trade you something right now. What are you doing, buddy? What you want, huh? <laughs> well, you ain't had no morning lovers yet? You know what? I didn't say, Dad, I didn't have no lovers yesterday. You can't start your day without little, little guy lovers. You gotta have little guy lovers every morning. Don't right there. That better? Oh, you just don't want the cat to get up here. I see what it is. I'm just reading back through the, the chat. Yeah, NJ, you'll never forget a puppy, man. It, it'll get easier over time, though. All right, that's too much stuff for me to read back through, so you know how I am. 
There we go. <laughs> Morning, Dave. Oh, gosh. Boy, I hate starting off my day like this. Running behind. Being late is one of my major pet peeves in life. Okay. I'm looking. Hey, little guy, please don't do that to my kitty cat. Fixing hit the water. All right, brother Gig, please be safe out there, brother, and good luck today. You're going to catch a big haul today. You're so big, you will take the rest of the week off. That's what I'm thinking. Come on, Red Bull. Course through my veins and do your magic. <clears throat> yeah, that was uh, some scary stuff this weekend in the tournament. And, uh, I've seen a little bit of, of him telling about it on the live. I missed most of it. But uh, that's something about somebody swamped him, if I understood right. No. You know, Cindy, I didn't feel good yesterday either. Oh, you got a bad tooth. Good morning, Jody. I know you heard me fart, didn't you? That's classic, but I wasn't, I'm not even awake, so I'm not even going to claim responsibility for that yet. You have no idea how I just opened my eyes and came in here and turned the computer on like, oh, shoot, I made a mistake today. Oh. Oh, goodness. Hey, Melissa, how's Hog doing? I don't know. I got so much crap to do, and it just seems like the days get away from me. Oh, you got headphones in. <laughs> Oh, snoring like Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Fred Flintstone, that's a, that's a good one. Oh, man. I got to feed the cat, too. I'll be back here directly. The kitty doesn't wait. Give me a little bit. I got to feed the cat and pour some food in the dog's bowl. <laughs> Chuck on pop. He actually slept in the bed last night. Like, heck yeah. <clears throat> you know, man, I don't mess with dams. I don't even get close to them. I don't know. Just because of seeing stuff like what happened to Dom, man. I mean, dams scare the heck out of me. This <laughs> is Oh goodness. <coughs> Fred 
Fernando, Fernando, don't leave me, Fernando. That goes way back. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you bad little guy. Huh? I gotta go feed your cat, buddy. Huh? You only like that because you go in and clean the dish up when it's done, don't you? Huh? Yeah, that's a good puppy. Oh, goodness gracious. Where'd you go, Papa Lou? Did you log out? Good morning, JC. <laughs> we thought a grizzly bear was out there snorting. <laughs> Man, oh, now my back's stiff. Great. That's all I need today. <laughs> oh, goodness. I was going to say somebody could have texted me with the new one. Uh, well, I don't know, whatever. I, I'm not even awake yet. I'm not going to lie. That's why I usually get up at 4, and it gives me an hour to get my stuff together. And uh, I definitely overslept. Mmm. Mm. You ever get a like a muscle tighten between your shoulder blades? You know what I'm talking about? I know it's like from stress and stuff is what causes it, I think. <laughs> I took Pop for a ride yesterday and we, I had to go pick a script up and then uh, we went driving around looking at the river and flooded fields and stuff, see how bad it was out around there. There's a lot of water out there. Yeah, no kidding. I agree. Because I could go back to bed, I'm not going to lie. What the heck is that? No. Not gonna buy the professionals. No, thank you. <laughs> mm. So I'm coming, buddy. You want your breakfast, huh? All right, hold on. We'll 
what time is it? 6.30. Boy, I did oversleep, didn't I? I'll be right back. I gotta go feed the cat real quick before he goes to starts meowing. Okay, I'll be right back. Come on, Lance, let's go. <clears throat> uh, well, guys, leave the cat alone. I wish that cat had knocked you out one of these days. <clears throat> <coughs> <coughs> Huh? Yeah, he's a good boy too. So don't go in there and try and take the cat's food neither. On oh, mine, his name's Max. Maximilian Max for short. People live next door. The old house. Oh shit, dad's waking up great. And uh they moved out and left this kitten there. But I didn't know they left it. I, I come home one evening. It was just getting dark. And I heard this little meowing. I'm like, man, I hear a cat somewhere. So I had to get a flashlight and walk around. No, damn it. Stop. There's nothing out there. No quit. Finally found him. He was underneath a bush and like had the leaves and stuff all pushed up and he was up under him. And uh, he was a little bitty guy. So I grabbed him and brought him in the house. He's, just, he's the skinniest cat I ever had. I feed him twice a day. And, uh, he still just don't ever gain no weight. What are you barking at out there? Nope, you quit. Oh, it was hilarious. Yesterday there was a goose out there, two geese out there by the pond all afternoon yesterday. The little guy was going crazy. I just put him on his little leash thing and let him out there. He stood out the end of his leash and just barked and barked, and they didn't care. They didn't even pay him no mind. Man, I think Butters was only, well, maybe he was, he might have come over while me and Dad was gone, come think of it. But I was thinking Butter only came over one time yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be. <clears throat> you just want to lay out there till? Okay, honey. She's just laying down out there. It must be nice. I wonder what the temperature is. Hold on. I'll check real quick here. Ah. Heck, it's 60 degrees. Oh. 
tasty. And again, the water is so warm. <clears throat> At least it looks like it's gonna be clear. It was hot yesterday. Hot for here anyway, and hot for fat people like me. Dang. Hey morning, John. You ain't missed nothing. I just got here too. Like twenty minutes ago. <laughs> I'm getting there. First Red Bull is almost working. <sighs> I'm coming, honey. Parking that tail, huh? You coming, little man? No, don't you be calling about her over here this early. Come on. I heard you hollering at him. Oh, I know. Hold on. I'm getting a treat. Sit there licking your lips. You want to pick in the blankets this morning? Is that what you want? Okay. I got you, Ben. There you go, Jimmy, Ben. There you go, buddy. Here, little guy. You want one? There you go. Okay, I'll hold it. You go in there, then. I'll just keep it till later. <clears throat> mm. I had to get Tilly her treat for going out this morning. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm not sure I deserve a thumbs up right now. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa, your sweetheart. I'm happy I'm anywhere today. I'm just in a funk, I think. That's with an N, not a C. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You almost missed it, didn't you? <clears throat> I'm trying to think what I got to do today. I got to get a hold of this guy. I'm supposed to see this house. He didn't get back with me yet. Oh, did he? I got him. I wonder if he did he email it to me, Melissa? Do you know? Oh, shoot. I have to find it now. Dag number. I wasn't around online. There's not much yesterday. Let's see. Yeah. It ain't a text. I don't think he has my number. This must be in my email, maybe. I sure hope I didn't accidentally delete it. I don't, I don't see it nowhere. Unless it's in my other email. Let's see over here. Nope, I'm way over on that. Uh, let's see, we send that one. 
I don't see it, Melissa. Uh, ask him how he sent it to me. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. I don't see it nowhere. I'm on a misplaced country girl. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm trying to remember, I can't, I'm going to turn my big PC on because it's, it's got a fan going out, it's kind of noisy, so I have to see if I can find it some way, if not I have to have him send it again, that was actually, I could have put it on today, because you know I don't know how to do nothing like that. Oh, I know. One more place I can look. Uh, let's see here. Oh, thanks. A few emails in this old account here. Let me get so much junk mail in it. Train. Nope, it ain't in that neither. You know, it's funny, I don't hear them at night when I'm sleeping. Billy, you better quit that. Somebody spoiled someone now they're in there wanting her to get her some cheats since I just gave him a treat, though. I'm a mess this morning. <clears throat> I can't believe it. And tell mom she can turn her TV up because she usually sits in there with the TV down because I'm on here and it's like you don't have to do that. It's fine. So hold on, I'll be right back. <clears throat> I was going to say, you can turn the TV up, it's fine. I forget what he had on before he went to bed. <laughs> Us breakfast? Huh. I think it might have been her breakfast. Mm. Oh, shit. That's a little louder than I thought, wasn't it? Hold on. Oh, shit. Hold on. Be a good day to just disappear from the planet, man. That's a little better, anyhow. I need to. It's actually almost warm enough. I could take this out on the deck. I'm waiting for the mornings. 63. I wonder if there's any wind blowing out there. Huh. I wonder how long my. Morning, Rustic. 
wonder how long my uh, computer runs on battery. I got a full charge. Man, I jumped up. I got there at 8 o'clock, right? I jumped up. I said, oh, man, I'm running late. I got in the shower. Went looking for clothes, got dressed. And I, I said, well, man, I got a chance for one cup of coffee. Now I ain't got that. Grabbed my phone. I looked down at my phone. It was five, five or something, 547. <laughs> I said, Psh. I thought it was 630. Oh, I overslept some morning. I didn't wake up till after six or six or something like that. Morning, Melissa. Morning, Tim. Morning, everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought I was running late, man. Yeah, it happens. So I got in the shower real quick. And, you know, drinking my first cup of coffee right now. <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't really need that, do I? The only thing I use that for is uh, to give people riches. <laughs> yeah, we slide outside for a little bit. <clears throat> you want to go out with me, little guy? Hold on, I got to put you on your thing. Damn, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Yesterday about 12 o'clock, I went and laid in, in the bed. And uh, I've been trying to sleep in the bed at night, so I toss, I turn, my shoulders hurt. Oh, about 12 o'clock, I told her, so I'm going to take a nap. She said, okay, well, about 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Six o'clock, she come and wakes me up. You going to sleep all day? And I said, well, I said, I went playing on it. Man, it was the best sleep I've had in months. <laughs> yep. Wasn't hurting. I was sound asleep. And she come and wakes me up. You could have let me out of sleep all night until the next morning. You know, I don't understand folks sitting in that recliner and ain't it where you at. <laughs> Hold on, I got to put a towel out here on the chair. It's kind of wet. How the dog doing? He's got to clean here from all that water intake. Yeah, they just pulled the plug at the, at the, at the bottom. That's right. Trying to make a decision on where to go. Get him on the seat, that'll stop him from storing. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to take it into my room. Oh, shoot. I'm not ready for Monday. No way, shape, or form. Am I ready for Monday? It was I. You look how I thought I was running late. Get my dates wrong. Get my get <laughs> Today is Monday, yeah. Yeah, April it's Monday. Eight a.m. Okay. Yep, it is definitely Monday. Oh shit! Man, it's Monday. John, where you been? You ain't heard of it. Some bass boat swamped. Dominic's boat and he uh. He had to save himself. He boat went over, went under, and flipped over, and he went in the water. And he swam it out there and pulled his boat over. It was a bad ordeal, but it's a good ordeal because he came out of it all right. He lost his rods, all except for two. He lost all the rest of them, and then he lost his tack on his phones and uh, and stuff like that. Yep, it was the bass guy. They he said it was bad. They said it was bass guys in the bass boat. Yeah, you well, shouldn't blame her if you do it yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to evacuate myself back to the bed or get myself back in the bed to get my shoulder used to it again. Never throw your old bathtub or shower again. And I'll be a chunk of coffee. I'll pop 
That's good, there. John, that's good. John's out there sitting in his truck. I don't want to take you to him. <sighs> Sorry about that. About the time I went to let the dog and butter showed up, I had to go get him a treat. Good morning, good workers in the background. Who's that? Uh, whoever's lurking in the background. Oh, I don't see nobody. I think that's why the lurkers. <laughs> Let's get this plugged in here, like so. Make sure I don't run out of power. There's that little guy you're coming in and staying out. There you go. <clears throat> Come on, buddy, buddy. <clears throat> oh, crap. There we go. Morning, Jody. What you think, buddy, buddy? Huh? Hey, Jody, good boy. Buddy. Boy. How many treats you had this morning so far, huh? Did you see your buddy today? Well, yes, you did, didn't you? He said, I seen butter, Dad. Did you see your buddy today? Yeah. Oh, it's archaic. I can't believe it's not butter. Parquet. Josie, did you hear Rustic Fart or so? I didn't fart. I did earlier. That was my chair. But uh, Pontoon Jody busted me out on it. I was just going to let it slide by, so to speak. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, that's my chair when I first sat down. Oh, yeah, that was my chair. Here, you know here. what? Look, I got to go get that tray to set this on so it don't overheat. Hold on. I'll be right back. Trust right me. Back. When I rip, I beat myself. <clears throat> yeah, he did. Now up here in the office. Well, if that's what y'all say, okay. I think grease the roll my chairs. <laughs> Trash map, she gets up, turns the TV on, turns it up, and lays back down with her eyes closed. We'll tell you she ain't asleep. <laughs> the only man would pay to her wing. Hold on, I gotta get another Red Bull. I'll be back. I ain't never gonna get it together today. I tried that, Jody. I pet my wife on the head. She asked me what the hell I was doing. Oh, but I guess I shouldn't have been saying good girl, good girl. <laughs> or Denise. I guess I should have told her that. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, I'm closing the door. That light's awful bright right there, isn't it? Let's turn this one on instead. Ah, that's a much better vibe bearing a little guy, huh? Yeah. So that vibe's good, Pop. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> yep, I guess it's going to be nice again today, which is cool.
<laughs> when you get McDonald's, you know she stopped. <clears throat> Ain't that right, little guy, huh? Oh, man. Hey, we're we going to live. Long way to fish. See you, everyone. Oh, we are going to go live, NJ, or no? Watch out. Scratch her belly. I don't know if she shakes her leg. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with you, dog. <laughs> Good morning, Curtis. I don't feel comfortable in Bugman's room. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't know you're there. Good morning, Curtis. <laughs> it's that or listening to the WB channel all morning. It's pretty loud. Which I'll wait about 10 minutes. I'll go in there and turn it down. And if she don't move, then I know she fell back asleep. Kudis. It's Kudis. Hi, Kudis. What thing about I got going on? Do you got, do you say you have therapy this morning, Rusty? Yeah, I got to be there at eight. Yeah. Oh, I cannot believe I slept in that late. All right, little guy. That's the first time we've been late, isn't it? I know. I hate being late. But it's my fault. I had too much going on in my brain and didn't set my alarms last night. Well, I got to figure out what to have for dinner every freaking day, and it's getting harder. So I'm going to eat the same crap over and over, but my uh, menu capabilities are pretty limited. Morning, 922 Crop Barbecue. Yeah, Jody, I understand. What? I didn't do nothing, buddy. Don't you fall asleep. You'll make me fall lean over here and fall asleep, too, and we'll be snoring, and I'll make a, they'll make a funny out of it. This morning, Cindy. Hey, nine two two. Good to see you. Morning, Donald. Morning, bro. Hey, Donald, how are you? Don, three nights. You prefer Don or Donald? There you go, Mike. Thank you. Now, you got to remember my limited cooking capabilities also. So we're not talking about some three-course meal with, you know, some exotic kind of thing like food in it, you know. We're talking simple uh, hamburger helper kind of menus. Chef <laughs> mm. boy, hard to hear. No, actually, I'm... <clears throat> Soup wise and stuff like that, Progresso makes the best soups, man. I don't know if anyone's had them, but goodness gracious, their uh, chicken gumbo something or whatever sauce, chicken gumbo sausage or something like that's awesome. Their creamy chicken noodles, pretty awesome too. I like the vegetable beef. Yep. Yep, and they, I guaranteed, if you've got one, like, say, chicken and noodle, you'll get a piece of meat in every bite. I mean, they, they, they just, they're definitely probably the best canned soup out there I know of. <laughs> Joe said Chef Boardy. <laughs> uh, Lou said ribeye loaded baked tater beef stroking up. Award winning contest winning chefs, that's right. Most of us are just normal humans. Ribeye loaded baked potato beef. I ain't stroking no beef off, so sorry. Yeah. I don't know how to make beef stroking off. I can, well, I don't have a grill, so I won't eat steaks unless they're cooked on a grill. I need to get a grill. Yeah, more than Uncle Luke. I can't believe we didn't bring mine here. Somehow that got missed in translation.
Really, I see real on the opposite. I like red sauce better than I do Alfredo. And there's Freddy. Good morning, Freddy. Hey, good morning, Freddy. How are you, buddy? You down there, Artie? Good morning. Down, down in Louisiana where they got alligators and snakes and all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> Are you down there to see Creole, Freddy? Hold on, little guy. Let me open the door for you. You pain in my butt. That's what you are. There you go. Hey, Freddy, when you guys get back, I got to get with you about getting some of them hooks with the heat shrink stuff on them or whatever. Those are awesome. Louisiana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I usually make it with make spaghetti with red sauce and uh, garlic bread always. And then uh, this last time I added, I actually bought the spaghetti sauce with sausage already in it. And then I added a pound of hamburger to it. When I made it, it didn't come out too bad. Oh, Chris and Taylor down to you. Oh, man, that'll be cool, dude. I'm glad you guys are down. I hope you have a good time. I hope you have good weather. <laughs> And I pray the river ain't as flooded as it is up here. It's yeah, right. no right. doubt, Melissa. They got big, mean stuff down there that'll eat you. <laughs> I don't think I could camp out down there. I'm not going to lie. Dude, if you do, I got, well, maybe a small gator. I well, see, even the small ones can still bite down on your fingers. I mean, that's a lose-lose situation come to think of. But I ain't wrestling no gators, no bears. In fact, if I can't shoot it, I ain't getting close enough to it. <laughs> but how cool would that be, a video commercial leading into Freddy's gear when he's wrestling the gator? Be safe, they want to <laughs> That'd be something if they went and caught some sharks there, like Creole did that time. Target practice on skeeters. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. <clears throat> you know who has the best biscuits? Hardy's has good biscuits, but there just ain't one around here nowhere. Yeah, there we go, dog. We'll have a multi, multi uh, bout pay per view. Freddy and alligators and hog leg with the kangaroos. Yeah, I don't think I got. Yeah, especially maybe when I was younger, I might have tried the gator thing, but I doubt it. I'm a little guy. Hmm. I've been doing pretty good. Uh, and God bless mom and him. Even when I make something that, that isn't, say, top of the line tasting, they still tell me it's good. And I thank them and tell them, you don't have to lie. I ate it too. It was horrible. But it was filling, you know what I mean? I made Sloppy Joe's last night with some uh, Hardy's or Rally's French fries. Call my friend at MD here and get my favorite over the counter here. 
it was a score. In fact, Dad said, man, them french fries are awesome. <laughs> Can you hear the TV in the background real loud now? Is it pretty decent? Sloppy bugs, yep. <laughs> and I don't do that manwich stuff neither. I make my own. That's a fact, Marilla. Now, you know what? I try to make sure. Well, you get dad's plate first and mom's second, but I try to have it set up where. Uh, the sides are always hot but when the entree goes on the plate then I put the sides on I get it to them pretty quick I'm like you so it's hot because you'll score bigger points if it's hot <laughs> the bad part it just don't stay hot long enough dad eats kind of slow he still gets it all over the place but he eats kind of slow I finally got him to put a towel up like a bib almost and, you know, down where that way when he drops stuff, it doesn't fall down in the recliner or nothing. Yeah, that even sounds good, John. I, I would opt for that in a heartbeat. Yes, Marillo, I like to make biscuits and gravy for dinner. Oh, I bet. You know, you don't, it, I know I looked last night. It was 8.30. It was still daylight. So and that's the best part about this time of year, man. It gets daylight early and stays daylight longer. I was going to take pop fishing yesterday, but the wind was blowing pretty hard in the morning during two stands time. And then he got up and said his leg hurt. He hurt pretty bad. Oh, yeah. I actually, I had, I found some country fried steak and gravy. Comes in a box. There's five of them and five individual packs of gravy. It was actually pretty good. And uh, <clears throat> I baked the steaks a little too long. I know better next time. But uh, you put the little plastic pouches of gravy and hot water and boil them and uh, you bake the steaks and it actually was pretty good i was surprised but, but i like to make my own gravy too with sausage in it hey stone fly dave marillo i've seen that band before oh wait that's dave matthews never mind close enough Yeah, buddy. That slaw burger sounds good. I don't think I've ever had one. I might have to track one of them down around here. Sounds messy, but it sounds good. I made ribs the day before, and uh, me not being the the biggest grocery shopping smart kind of guy. I uh, instead of buying baby back ribs, I just bought a slab of ribs, and uh, I didn't realize. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. They had that in the army. Actually, you could get it almost every morning. Now, the chip beef gravy, and uh, the first time I can remember, the first time I ever had that, I was a little kid, and I had it at my grandmother's house on my dad's side. I think she died when I was 14, I think, but that, I, that's where I remember having that the first time. No kidding. So you make your own slaw burger at the restaurant? <laughs> That's cool. No kid, they've never heard of it around there. I've heard of it. I just don't remember ever eating one. I, I have a weird thing about getting messy when I eat. 
I'm not real fond of it. I don't like my food to touch on my plate. That's just me. I don't care what nobody says. It's childish. Yes, it is childish, but I hate when the food touches on the plate. You can laugh at me and call me a geek or whatever. I don't care, but that's me. With hamburger, huh? Now, see, I'll I'll get uh, oh, what is it? Bill's baked beans or whatever, and I'll cut up smoked sausage and put it in it. We had that the other day, and then the hamburger helper tomato basil panini or whatever that's actually pretty good yep i am a geek that's me i was an electronics geek before i became an appraiser because my knees went bad and i couldn't climb no more so i had to find something else to do no stonefly i'm gonna have to pass on that one but i will eat their pot pies at kfc's pot pies are awesome if you've never had one, I highly recommend you try it before you judge it because it's pretty good. It's got great crust on it. I like cheeseburgers and turtles. Oh, you didn't add the turtles in. I did. <laughs> you have to watch Daniel Tosh to understand that I like turtles. <laughs> Oh, man, yeah, it's going to be a nice day today. And there's a million things I should do, and I'd really like to go fishing. And that's not one of the million I should do. Hey, morning, Chris. I hear you guys are down there in the Southland getting ready to hook up with Freddie. <clears throat> you guys be careful down there, Chris. It ain't Indiana, brother. They got snakes and alligators down there. They got stuff that will eat you. So... Just remember, push Telly in front of you when it happens and run the other way. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, Telly. I threw you over the boat. <laughs> I apologize. But I'm short like Chris is, so I got to tell him the survival techniques that's kept me around all this time. <laughs> Morning, Jadwick. Okay, see, I'm starting to wake up now. Goodness gracious. I'll be right back. I'm going to see if she's asleep. If she is, I can go back to my damn desk. <clears throat> mm. Hello, left knee. It's good to meet you this morning. Okay, now you look at this one Here, I'll go to the next one. I'll go to the next one. I'll go to the next one. I'll go to the next I'll stay in here. It's all right. And if you hear a snoring, just close the door on your way out. Man, it's allergy time for me. I don't know about anybody else. But I hate them. And I don't take those allergy pills because they make me groggy. All right, Jody, eighth place is participation award. But you still got plenty of time to move up. Plenty of time. It's just getting started. Oh, I set my glasses down somewhere. Shit. I set my glasses down somewhere. I can't find them. Shit. Ain't nothing worse than being not being able to see to find your glasses. Me. Yeah, Jody, I've seen that. I'll be right back. Yeah, 
Oh, I'm having my glasses down somewhere. A little trouble finding them. Here, I'll turn the TV down. No, you're fine. I can redeem myself. Yeah, yep. this bitch. I hate losing my freaking glasses, man. I might as well go back to bed. It's going to be a shitty day. I can see already. That's true. Glasses, then they would tell me. It's not <laughs> sure. Show camera zoom. Eyesight is restored. Oh, oh, there you go, Chad. Give me some bias. Bye bye. Oh, oh, Curtis, I see you, man. I just got back. I was looking for my glasses. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Oh, man. Rustic, come here. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put it down there. I'm getting cold. I know. Yeah, I, I, I was walking around. I was walking around. I was computer. I was walking around looking for my glasses. Oh, I know, buddy. I'm, my, my day started bad. It's going to be a shitty day. I'm already seeing. Yeah, Mr. Chad, you don't need no lights. You, you're probably one of the greatest fishermen on the Ohio River, brother. They won't even let you in. They won't even let you down. I don't care what J Dog says. J Dog is snoring. He don't want none of this. <laughs> <laughs> they, they won't even let Chad down to Tennessee to fish. That's how good. That's how good of a fisherman Chad is. They're afraid of him. Yep. Can you imagine Chad on the Potomac? He'd make them all look like five-year-olds. That's right. Chad is the man. We got you, Chad. Can we borrow your <laughs> boat now? <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody would be saying, Curtis. Stop kissing up. <laughs> yep. Can we borrow your boat for a little bit? <laughs> <coughs> we won't go by a dam or nothing, I promise. Too soon? <laughs> oh. I bet the Ohio is still up like crazy. Oh, I drive around yesterday. Rivers are still up around here even. Hey, Rustic and Buggy, my bad. That, that turd is up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you got a text. Uh, yeah. Danny Stone, morning, buddy. I didn't see you. Sorry, I don't have my mouse in here. Whole bunch of fingers saying I'm number one. I get those from him often too. Yeah. To which I reply, he doesn't have that much money. Ever. Yeah, at least, <laughs> at least I say I got a fan. Mm -hmm. Here's what flavor yeah. Kool Aid is that? 
Don't fly. I said 48 foot. The Haterade. Hey, Dave. Dave from Double Hook. Dang. Uh, supposed to hit up to 50. Woof. Nah. 50 what? On Double Hook. The, the water up there is supposed to hit oh, up. Oh, uh, okay. Like, yeah. Crest at 50. Hey, Jay, how are you, buddy? If my nose don't quit running, I'm telling you, I'm seriously considering cutting it off. My my great uncle Lou out there. I know I saw him out there, and Aunt Mindy. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, uncle Lou's out there. He's kind of creeping. He's my dog. Closet creeper dudes. My dog. That's that's my dog, J Dog. J Dog's out there. He's just hiding because he he don't ever come up on my show. See, that's how it's gonna be. Yeah, hey, I would call him out today if I can get Eric up. Yep, Eric ain't up. You off today? Yeah, he's off today. I would, I would put the beat down of the century on J Dog. No kidding, Stonefly. I know I, I come up on a lot of county roads yesterday that they still had the signs out, you know, road closed ahead or whatever. And I went ahead and drove past them and went down. Most of them were the river was down enough that it wasn't up no more on the, on the road. <laughs> But they wasn't sure. coming out and pulling them down over the weekend, you know. I just can imagine it's just like going crazy down there. Oh, everything is everything's flowing down that way. You know, there's a place you can go. You can take Highway 67 south of Bendy going towards Spencer. Mm -hmm. And there's a place there where you're on the high side and you're running along the river and it's nothing but fields out to the low side of it. And I'll bet that whole thing's flooded. I mean, and I'm talking thousands and thousands of acres. I'll bet they're all flooded right now. I know uncle. I know uncle. Lou. J dog showed some pictures of the licking the other day and it looked pretty healthy. I gotta go get a mouse. My mouse is my mouse pad. I can't. Uh, with my finger. I'd beat. I'd buggy. I'd beat J Dog so bad if I went out fishing today. He quit. Yep. He'd retire. He would retire fishing. He wouldn't show his face again, would he? Uh, yeah, he would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would. <laughs> I'd I'd make him look worse than that pontoon Jody character. Oh, I tried to get chat going, but I guess not. Okay, I got to get it together today. I got crap I got to get done that ain't got done. And I don't know, man. I need an adult to supervise this. We all need an adult. Twenty-five feet underwater. Good lord! Sound like Stonefly be fishing in the parking lots. Adult supervision requested. If not, he'd be finding a building fishing off the roof. <laughs> I'm downtown fishing off the roof of the courthouse right now. Jody, you couldn't handle all this. There we go. That's better. I got my mouse now. I'm good. I can play with my mouse now. I'm all right. Hey, Jimmy G. Good morning, buddy. Dave from Double Hook caught 35 year I caught a 30 year old yo found flathead, but could not get in the bank. Had you net it, we will be talking a net from now on. Well, Dave, you should have a net in the boat. What kind of fisherman are you, Dave? Hey, Dave, balls, Ballsworth, man, I need, I need the hoggy back. <laughs> I never can say his last name right. Bozarth. Yep. I think that's it. Double. Oh, please, that? please tell me you got some video of it at least. Yeah, how do you know it was 40? Yeah, I'm just going to be like Uncle Lou, Dave B. Good morning. <laughs> that's, a, that's a chunky estimate right there. Oh, that's a way throwback there. 
How do you know it was 40? Yeah. How, how would you know it's 40 if you didn't get in the net? I think he said 35 or 40 pounds, not yo 40 pounds. Yeah. But that's why I said it threw me off. He must be like Zach from Catfish Viking and just estimate that log. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you, ever, you guys ever saw Zach, Catfish Viking. Y'all should make sure you subscribe to him. He's going to be out there fishing soon. Is he really? That will work. Yeah, he's going to start getting out there. He's got his yak ready to go. Does he? Yep. He needs to bring his work to spot up here. Yeah, I, I tell him all the time. So you don't have to be scared. No, man, I like that kid. He's a good kid. Yep, I like. We all like Zach. He's yeah, our T knot. Good man. Yep, he's our T knot. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I like him a lot. He's a good kid. Pontoon Jody says, "Curtis, you want to go? I Where think, are we going? I think that needs to be done. The 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 Jody revenge match against Curtis. Oh." He's one of those retiring as a champion kind of guys, ain't he? Yeah, problem is I'd get a bunch of hate mail and emails and all the hate again. You beat Jody. Uh, she's a girl, blah, blah, blah. Well, she's a woman, dang it. I whooped her, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a few people who had to put dresses on that wish they'd have been in your shoes. Yeah, Jody's a good person, though. Yep, and nobody done it better than uh, old pork. Is it pork chop? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, old pork, old, old chop chop. What's Anybody Uncle Lou calling? Seen him in a while? No, I have not. I haven't either. Is he all right? Anybody know? I have no idea. I know he's around um, um, three night Donald Knights area. City Park Pond. He's in whose area? He's over there by uh, 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 uh Three Night Donald's uh, area. He's down Ooh, around, really? I think it's the Dayton area. Yep. Huh. Oh, poor chap. Donald's over by Troy, Ohio. Yeah. Rusty, would stop. you say you? What? You want to go? Are you Are you want to go? Is that what you're saying? Maybe the time. I'm not so good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step down off here. All right, buddy. You all right, man? I don't know. I think I got stomach virus or something. Oh, man. Uh -oh. I threw up Friday. I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden, I just started feeling All right. Sick. Take care, buddy. All right, man. Holler at me if you need anything, man. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye, everybody. Yeah, I got sick. I think it was Friday. It might have. Yeah, it was Friday. It wasn't Saturday. Jody said that poor chop has medical issues. He does? Yep. Huh. Anyone know how to get a hold of him? Only through Messenger, I guess. Yeah, I'll have to pull his page up and see if he's got an email or something. I don't have a Messenger. Poor Chop almost beat me, Jody said. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I thought I saw Miss Cindy. Skip check, Cindy. Yep, I sure did. Good morning, Miss Cindy. Tell Travis to wake up. Hey, Denise. Good morning. Good morning. You know why, you, uh, Buggy? You know why Rusty Cop off here? Uh huh. Yeah, he don't want to be Lee Evans. Remember that episode with Lee Evans? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Lee Evans had a lot of good old shows. It yeah, was, he uh, did. His show was good, man. I enjoy it. That's when I first came in. He was doing his show still. Yeah, I could tell by his face he wasn't feeling good. That's why I asked him. Yeah, and I didn't want to make wor things worse or by popping my face up here, he would have heaved in. Yeah, that, that probably would have sent it over the edge. <laughs> That's way too much ugly. <laughs> yeah, don't let me forget I put my Red Bull in the freezer to get ice cold. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm working on trying to get Eric up here. I know I put a world of hurting on old J-Dog. You guys going down there? Oh, ain't no, no. more fish down there, is there? No, I'd, I'd, I'd go to my creek and beat the tar out of J-Dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I put my J-Dog shirt on and just beat the stuffing out of him. <laughs> no, we was going to go up to Hoover and show everybody that uh, there are fish in Hoover. It's just everybody that went up there, just it was a tough bite. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. 
as uh, I believe uh, Catching Fish with Us was up there and Northview Outdoors was up there. You, you know it, John. <laughs> I'd probably beat you in a bass tournament, bro. <laughs> Dave, Dave B said, all talk, no action, Curtis. That's <laughs> <ain't> it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wish I would have. Wish or I would have got to spend more time with Michael there at the uh, CatCon. Orchestra of Chaos. I like that. I always used to say about a dirt bike race is uh, uh, organized chaos. At the start. I'm liking the fact you was out there making coffee for your men. That's a good. That's a good leader right there. Mister Marilla is an awesome person. Hey, two o five. How are you? Hey, two o five. Good morning, brother. Yeah, he's a he's a laid back dude. Two oh five. Is he? I don't think I've oh, ever yeah. met him in person. Not yet. Yeah, everybody, everybody ought to subscribe to him. He's he's cool. I'm he doesn't cool. like losing. He don't like losing his uh, lures either, or his bait <laughs> or anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's excited. Yeah, he'll go out and get it. <laughs> Do what? He'll go out and get his hooks and stuff. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> The only way I do that's in a boat. Jody, you be quiet. I swear, if, if Uncle Lou gets me for that taser gun for Christmas, Jody, you're you, I'm putting you right up on the list. You're number one, Jody. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm so lazy sometimes I won't even go get my hooks if I'm in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do what J-Dog showed us what to do, you know. Just leave it on there, and once we reel all the other ones up. Go back to the other side and yeah. pull it out, yeah. yeah. And, and usually, usually it does. Up there on the lake, though, uh, we usually don't get snagged up. Hit me yeah. with your best shot. Fire away. John, awesome video. Uh, Small Water Charters has another great video this week. Yeah. No, I will. Three, uh, three amigos. I won't leave a catfish rig if I'm in a boat, but I will a bluegill rig, you know what I mean? Yeah. The pretty them pretty hooks, the sharp sharp. They'll go right through your freaking hand. Yeah, I watched the three amigos. What kind of list, Miss Place Country Girl? I better not be on no list. <laughs> I'm sad. No, Denise, I wouldn't tase you. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't tase nobody, but it sure would be fun to do, though. And then I'd send a video to Uncle Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I did. <laughs> you proud of me? It's like I don't know you, son. <laughs> <laughs> I used my snag one as an anchor to keep the boat from swinging. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, I think the Red Bull's probably been in there long enough. My freezers kick ass, it gets stuff cold quick. Yeah. My knees are hurt today. My knee anyway. <laughs> John got excited and kicked him off the deck. <laughs> That's a bummer. Probably because you were up there singing and dancing. I watched that video of you up there singing. Uh, what was that? Five Nights of Freddy. Ain't that where they got that idea from? Or that the uh, pizza places or whatever that was where you used to have birthday parties like in the 80s? I've seen that, John. Oh, shoot. I forgot to take my medicine. I better get on that. Yeah, buggy. It's I hope you didn't. Two hours late. No, Curtis, read my uh, about three amigo comment. All the, the, yeah, the jigs and stuff. Watch the three amigos drop a $250 box of Tuscan weights in Donkeyland the other day. They just stood there and looked at the water was classic. <laughs> 
Mm. Well, no deeper than this. I'd have went in and got most of them. I was going to say that, Buggy. Yeah. I think John. I think John's got a ladder on the uh, on the uh, boat. I'd have just jumped in, got him, got back up, start fishing again. Yep. Unless, of course, the alligator's close, and then that. Oh no! Nah, with John, shoot, John would have just spot the alligators. If not, he would. If not, he would have just asked them to dance. They was gator scared. Yep. I don't blame them though. <laughs> oh no! I'd wait till they left and then went in and got them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going in. There. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to go in and get theirs. But I'd sure triangulate the location for when I came back by. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like uh, poor Dominic this weekend. Yeah, man, that was scary. That could have ended so bad. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I never thought about that. Hell, then you'd be lucky you don't get tangled up in the grass down there and not be able to get back up. I guess I heard him on, I think, was it Rustic's live Saturday night talk about somebody swamped his boat or something? Yeah, some bass boat did it like three times to him. Yeah, I know he was on uh, stands, and Stan had him pulled up yesterday mor uh, morning. Yeah, yeah. I know. I think I seen him on Rustic Saturday night. The the part that gets me is that all them people saw what was happening to Dominic, and not nobody did anything. Yeah. Didn't go to help or anything. How yeah. he went through... How he went through one of them turbines, I'll have no idea. Did he end up going through it? Yeah, he went through it like 11, 10, 11 times, he said. You know, because it's, you know, the circle part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that, Uncle Lou. That's that's a real OG right there, Uncle yeah, Lou. <laughs> and, and I'm telling you right now, in that situation, I don't care about my boat. I don't care about my gear. I don't care about anything but getting my ass out of the water. Yep. That's oh. that's the that's a real good thing there, Buggy, because he, he had his PFD on. Yep. Yep. I wouldn't even get close to a damn without one, maybe two on. Yep. I don't even know if mine would float my fat butt fully clothed. I don't know. He had them big boots on and everything, so I don't know yeah. how he did it. Yeah. But Dominic, he's a tough old bird, so. Well, I, yeah, that's some scary crap right there, man, I'm telling you. I just, and the people up on the, uh, uh, the water, the, the, the mm -hmm. hydro, even yeah. they heard him and everything, and they did nothing. They should all be ashamed of themselves. Yeah, at least throw a rope or anything. Hey, can I get a little help over here, guys? You know, <laughs> they all should be ashamed of themselves. Man, I'm about to drown here, man. About to drown. Can I can I, can I get some help over this way, guys? Yeah. But like I said, my first thought would be getting myself out of the water. I'll worry about the other stuff later. Yeah, I, miraculously, he was able to get the boat and. He had two rods uh, that were still attached to the boat, so. No kidding. Yeah, but he lost everything else, his phones, his keys to his vehicles. He can't even get to his vehicles. Oh, wow, yeah. You know, I think my life jacket has a pocket to put your keys in. I have to look at that again. It's a zip-up pocket, and that would be a good idea. He lost his sidearm. Yeah, I know. That's what that was the worst part. He said he didn't have it on because it was uh, Kevin's live and he didn't want to have a gun on during the live. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can understand that, I suppose, but I'd have had mine on regardless. No, I wouldn't. Well, my kid, I always put mine in the front pocket of my <clears throat> little tackle box, anyways. So I'm just reaching down and grab it real quick. Come think of it, I'd have lost mine. Mm. I said I don't I don't I don't know how he said he went through the road he went rotate it through the turbine a couple times then put his feet and then kicked out I'm like wow uh, yeah he has a small boat John something yeah. that I wouldn't be in 
it, it's no bigger. It, it might be just a little bit bigger than the kayak. In my, in my opinion, that yeah, my opinion. double hook. I got some of them Bass Pro Shops a couple years ago on sale for I forget. It was under a hundred bucks. I think they were regularly like one fifty nine or one seventy nine or something like that. I think Jody told me about that sale on a live one day. It's been a couple years ago. Yep. And uh, they're the bomb, man. Yeah, even Miss Jody said it. It was it's very small. It, 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 you know, the water, it don't take much for the water to come up over the sides and stuff. No, not in a small boat, not at all. And that bass boat, you know, with them, you know, going cruising through there, he that boat knew, that guy in that bass boat knew what he was doing. I'm mm -hmm. not saying all bass boat guys are buttholes, but he knew what he was doing. He was just another guy, another hater out there. <clears throat> that's why that's why i'm so glad i always fish with my brother well i'm telling you brother. right now after the first time he went by and almost swamped me when i seen him coming again that firearm would not have been in my in my bag anymore yep she I looked lady. Shot him, don't get me wrong but i'd have shot up in the air and let him know hey y'all better stop well, you know i'm done yeah you know we're not it's not funny and we're not playing right now so don't come back through here again Yeah, like, like I said, I'm just glad he had his PDF on. Yep. Once he would, once he waked me the first time, and you know the other thing is he should have had uh, yeah, should have had one of the sump the sump pump things or whatever they're called. Well, the, I uh, don't. If it's he should have had one of them in his boat. Yeah, but if it happened how I think it did, it wouldn't have been able to keep up anyway. You yeah, know? but it wouldn't. Have, it wouldn't have hurt. Yeah, but I mean, it's you know, it swamps in the back, and then the back starts to go low, and it swamps again. Real, you know, you're talking. Yeah, about yeah but buggy quick. He only had like, uh, like look, lady said it's only a twelve foot uh, Sears boat. He it went over the sides. He didn't have. He don't have like what we we fishing with J Dog with them high sides and everything. It came over the sides. And it flipped the boat, and like I said, that first time when he went by, I would have been, I would have been out of there. Yeah, me too. I well, me unless I'm with someone who's extremely experienced, I'm not getting near a dam anyway. For instance, him. I've heard too many horror stories and seen too many videos of boats getting caught in that water that flows back and back inside, you know, and there's nothing you can mm. do. I'm sorry to hear that, Jody. Them, them people's got a special place. <laughs> Eric was fishing with Jody. He'd shoot bottle rockets at him. That ain't a bad idea, Roman Candles. Yeah, that's, I'm not joking. Y'all think I'm kidding. Eric does that. <laughs> oh, I have no doubt in my mind, Eric. Can do it. <laughs> I like the Roman Candle idea myself. Yeah. Man, if he would, if I would let him, he would take one of them uh, firework thing that he's got, and he would put it in that tube, and he would try to fire it at him. Yep. If I'd let him, one of the little grenade jobbies. Yep. Yeah. If if I would let him, I keep telling him, I said Eric, well, you know, well, we're gonna get in trouble. F that, F that. You know how Eric says. Yep. Be like, well, if I got, if you got any money in your account, I'll bail you out. If you don't, just call me when the judge lets you out. <laughs> yeah, they do it to everyone like that, not just me. But, well, yeah, y'all have a mortar. Yep, I remember when them first come out. I was like, these are the greatest. <laughs> y'all ought to get together, Jody, and take that dude out. But, yeah, the last thing I would ever do, I think, is get close to the dam in a small boat. Now, something like the mm -hmm. size of J-Dog's boat or whatever, I might be okay there. But Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that guy. I'm not getting that close. Exactly. Rough. And I agree. Make big yeah, waves. So, yep, Uncle Lou's correct there, too. They're just doing it to piss people off. That's why I kind of like the pontoon. I mean, don't 
don't tell you know i know they can sing but it's a lot harder for them to sing than it is you're right john or uncle Lou, you're right a lot of them are inexperienced boulders yep because yeah, remember that tugboat when he was going by the ones that go like full speed that thing <laughs> Ooh, doggy it scared the bejesus out of you it make your butt perk <laughs> The J Dog goes, Nope, we ain't going this way. We're going the other way. Yep. It's That's right, good, Jody. It's good to go out on the water with J Dog because you know he's lived there his whole life. So you know he's been on that river and seen about everything. So I don't worry about anything wrong with him. Yep. Yeah. Because that's a big river and a lot of water. Dog, dog knows his stuff. I might. I might mess with him a lot, but he knows the stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 You're safe on the water with him. I know that. But I'll deny I ever said it. <laughs> That's me, too. Me, too. Yeah. <laughs> and like he would probably say, you know, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. Yeah, we all going. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Going they'll 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 name a tournament after us yeah when i get where i'm going <laughs> me and my dog man i need to sit down and go through bills today i gotta make some calls for the medical bills people they're piling up Ooh, that would have been that would have sucked john he said he was worried the amigos were going to run up on the back of his deck. Yeah. That would suck. Yep. Ask Cody about getting run over. He knows all about it. Yep. Now, Cody did good this week. Larry, Cody, and uh, I think Caden. Cam oh, Cam. Yeah, I think they won this weekend. Oh, really? Yep. Okay, I it, see. I was wondering what that was about. Okay, so they run back up to the dam real quick and then shut down and it throws that big wave forward. Yep. Yep, like you said, Jody, sometimes you just chalk it up and just go somewhere else, let them have that spot. Better being smart than. Stopping WFO. That was me on dirt bikes in my younger days, John. When in doubt, pin it. Zing. Everything in your body says not to, but when that bike starts flopping around, it's time to grab a handful and just hold on. Hey, I just thought of that. Hey, that's another good idea. I get that for Christmas. Yeah, I'll start tasering people in other boats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get over here. I want to tell you something, Zap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Sorry. what I wanted to tell you. Don't be stupid. I'm the stupid. <laughs> yeah. Wait, a wait. Boat till... With a big sign on it that says stupid yeah. patrol. <laughs> and boat yeah. around and, and bust yeah. them out for being stupid. Yeah, wait, wait till after they're done crop you flopping. <laughs> now <laughs> you gonna shut up and listen? <laughs> or do I have to do that again? Please do that again. Yep, that's true, John. And a lot of times if you're going fast, you can uh, glide across the top of the sandbar you would have been stuck on if you were going slow. We were in some pretty shallow water that day throwing that cast net, and I was surprised we didn't get hung up or anything. Yeah, like, like we said earlier, j Dog knows what he's doing. Yep. Windier than a mother trucker out there lot yesterday. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that day we were only in a foot of water or less. Well, I was going to say, at one time we were only in about a foot, and that's a pretty good-sized boat for a foot of water. I was surprised. Yeah, and then that one guy kept calling us fat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little old Sammy. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
Yep, it is just about the last what couple feet of the boat and the prop. That's about all that's in the water then. Yeah. The bad thing is when the prop hit the rock. Yeah. The mud was okay, but when it hit the rock, it was like, yep, we got to get back out of here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking, John. About two thirds of the boats outside out of the water. What to do today? What to do? Go fishing. <laughs> I wish. I got stuff I got to do, though, man. I got to get on these medical bills. Hey, Terry B. I need to find out what month, date, and month Pop went on their hospice because anything that came after that day, they pay for. And, uh, I think I've seen a few bills come in like with December dates on them. I'm like, nah, you're supposed to send them to the hospice people, not me. So I got right. whoever that is. I think it's the medicine people for his pain pump. Hmm. Well, I can lay back to right here like this and fall asleep easy. Yeah. What time so. is it? It's almost eight o'clock. It's uh fifty seven after. Yeah, I owe him an extra hour today though. Cause I had an alarm clock malfunction. That's gonna be my excuse today. <laughs> oh, I could go in there and tase Eric right now if I had that taser. Yep, yep, we'll get to a belt whoop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Eric reminds me of one of them guys you don't wake them up when they're asleep. Oh, yeah. I, I, do, I do it all the time. Yeah. John from Smallwater Charter said, time to wake your ass up, Buck. Dude, I'm awake. I'm trying to be. I, ain't, I just. Uncle Lou can't tell time. You know, he's old. He says it's 657. Yeah, out there in stupid people country. I mean. <laughs> oh, dang. Hey, Lou, did you see there's a good chance that the Indiana fever is going to get your girl in the draft? She was on Saturday Night Live. I seen that. I didn't see it, but I seen a clip about it. But yeah, I think I heard on the news the other day on the local news they were talking like they would get a <laughs> shot at getting her in the draft. Yeah. Hell, I think she can go to the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> She's better than some of them guys out there. You definitely know she shoots the three a lot better. Yeah. Man, a lot of them big guys in the NBA can shoot threes too to a guy six foot ten draining it from outside. Yeah. Six foot six or whatever, you know. Uncle Lou out there. Uncle Lou said, Yeah, buggy. Yeah. That's good. I keep an eye on her for you. Oops, I keep forgetting what show I'm on. Mm, man, my I can't figure out what I done yesterday. My feet hurt. My toes were sore from something. I can't remember what it was I done now. I think I was doing ballet or something. Oh, not again. Mm, okay, sit back up now. Let's get a little too comfortable right there. Uh oh. Yeah, somebody's calling Eric. How'd you get down from the top? <laughs> uh. There's my good buddy, Chris. Kelly, I Hammond. apologize. <laughs> I'm just trying to save a fellow short man. That's all. <laughs> Tell you. Fun. <laughs> Tell you heard you earlier. I know. <laughs> I was hoping maybe she was in the house somewhere and he was outside. <laughs> <laughs> cousin Chris. That's why I start calling him. It's Cousin Chris. Cousin Chris down there in Lazana. Here. Uh, yeah. Gonna you guys, catfishing day. You guys be safe, just like Freddie and Nina. Be safe. Good Lord, I don't want Chris catching a fish, uh, no shark. Question. That was a very good point. If I, I hope the, Chris. If I had the money, I'd just go on a two-month coke binge and lose all my weight. Ooh, buggy, yeah. no. <laughs> hope Chris doesn't catch one of them there sharks. 
I know Creel said that uh, this isn't Shark Shark Week. <laughs> That's what he told me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's not the the month that the sharks are in. Not saying that he said not saying that they couldn't catch one, but it's gar. I think it's alligator gar. Yeah, they get, they we're talking about maybe going and targeting some of them big jobbies. Yeah, I think that's what uh, Creel was telling me. Yep, I can tell should be getting close to time for my respite because I'm a little moody these days. Should be what next week? I think it is. I'm getting ready to look at the calendar. Where'd the calendar go? What the I don't care about some fuck you outlook. They I just want to see my calendar go the hell away. Yeah. <laughs> I like how Denise uh, tried to spell t uh, Miss Tally. <laughs> T U L L I E. I don't know what all this shit is. Hey, John, stop stirring a turd. <laughs> is, John in, is John in here shit stirring? Yeah, that was last week, John. Stop stirring the turd. Yeah, hey, John, come on, man. I done look like an asshole last week. Don't make me do it again. I feel bad. No. Buggy, no. Yeah, she's such. I, she's a nice lady. I know, I know. That's why I said I feel bad. It was wrong day, wrong time, man. Yeah, you should yeah. took it out on there. You should took it out on Eric. Well, you know, <laughs> he would have dropped a few f bombs on you, little. <laughs> that's all right. He would have told. He would movie. He would have told you where to go to, buggy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't. Eric probably wouldn't have hung up on you or, or left you. Eric would have stayed up there. You would have to either boot him or you guys would have made up. <laughs> yeah, it was a little wrong of me. I apologize. But you know what? Ain't nobody who lives where I live and lives what I do. So fuck it. It ain't always easy. It's real hard to stay positive a lot. And sometimes you just lose it. Lose yourself, and I lost it. Yeah, over dog food. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it wasn't dog food. It was the point. Uh, I hate, yeah, no. I hate when someone tells me I know, but that won't work when they have no idea what the product or what I'm talking about is. Don't tell me it won't. Say you don't think it will. But then again, the word can't and won't and stuff like that, I don't use them very often. Yeah, you did, John. F you. I'll get you back. I'll come on your live and stir the pot with your yeah. back with some people and then jump out real quick. Get everybody <laughs> fired up. I have to make a fake account to do that, though. Yep. I don't want a bunch of psycho bass fishermen after me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Buggy, you ever watch a movie called Wild Hogs? Yeah. Once, okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. I just watched it the other day, and when when you were talking about your sportsmen, uh, uh, the guys at the yeah, the guys at the uh, the biker shop there, they were talking about it. You got a sportsman? A sportster. Sure. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. know why you say sportsman. Sportster. Yeah. Oh, I've always wanted one of those. I'll trade my panhead for that. <laughs> yeah, all right. And he lied. I, uh, John, that guy always reminds me of you, buddy. I had a friend that had a 80 cubic inch uh, pan head one time. Then, er, no, it was flathead, 80 cubic inch flathead. And the guy, Marco. The guy argued with him that they never made the flathead in 80 cubic. He said, wait a minute, what about the, uh, mail carts from back in World War II days. Those had 80 cubic inch flatheads in them. Yeah. Yep. Is today 420? Uh, 
I don't know. My calendar never popped up because it wanted to add some Outlook shit or something. I don't know what it was. I swear my TV just said, hey, it's 420. I don't know what this Outlook shit is. <laughs> John, I wasn't going to say it, but I was trying to say it. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, Ginger Mary Ann. Then how am I supposed to know the IMAP pop password? Fuck you. No curse if it was, I would be celebrating. Oh, this TV, what in the world is it talking about then? No, today's the 15th. No, I was going to say, yeah, it can't be. I got a doctor's appointment to the 19th. 426 Saturday. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, next Saturday. It's about to get all Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg up in here. Up in here. Up in here. Dave yeah. from Double Hook is on it. He said 420 is Saturday. Yep, yeah, I was going to say it's just Saturday. I don't know why the federal government just don't go ahead and legalize marijuana so every effing state could do it. And I wouldn't have to worry about it no more, fucking people. Yeah, our state's legalized it. Well, you know, like, for instance, if you go to the VA and even if it's legal in your state, the VA still considers it illegal because it's illegal federally. Mm-hmm. So you can't argue a dirty your analysis with them, even if you live in a state where it's uh, legal. Yep. I dare you to go out there and just sit on the street corner and smoke it and see how that works out for you. Yep. <laughs> oh, officer, officer, it's legal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it is kind of funny to, to go to a state where it's legal and see someone sitting there on a patio or whatever smoking a doobie. It's kind yeah. of cool, actually, considering back in the old days, you'd have to kind of cup it or something so people didn't see it. Yeah. I don't yeah. suppose after you get old, you have to worry about that. But when you're a teenager, you would. <laughs> Morning, Big Slim. I'm going to have to run down and get another Red Bull. I can see this already because my day is going to be effed up. Let me jump. I'm giving Eric till 9 o'clock. Morning, Big Slim. Oh, yeah, and then you're going to. Beat the F and daylights out of him. Yeah. You can hang for about 15 minutes. Can you give me time to run down to the station and back? Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. Then, like I said, I'm going to put a beat down on J-Dog, show him what it is. We'll get J-Dog up here somehow. We'll talk bad about him enough. He'll get up here and be all fired up. We know hey, no. J-Dog. <laughs> And if you're, yeah. shower, if you're in the shower, I hope you slip and fall on your butt. I don't want you to get hurt, but I still want you to fall. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I have no idea what he's doing. That's, I assume it's not raining down there to, around his house. I don't know. I, hold on. I don't know now that you mentioned it. The weather looked like there was a front coming up through that way this morning. I, but I just caught a glimpse of it, you know. Yeah. But I think I can see that area on the radar from my uh, weather app, Jobby. <laughs> John. Hey, Buggy, there's your uh, favorite bedwetter. Well, hey, what's up, my bedwetting friend, Brian B? You better get them <laughs> sheets changed. Brian B. Catfishing. So let's check. Brian, see big fish. Catfishing. I don't, <laughs> see no, I don't see anything down around Cincinnati. It looks like here, clear and sunny. Brian, you did an excellent job this week, brother. Yep. Where you work at, Brian, by the way? Don't you work for the government or something? He said zipper sniffers. What the heck does that mean? And that depends on whose zipper it is, actually. <laughs> There's some zippers I'd be more than happy to sniff. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Jenny McCarthy. Yes. 
I'll punch you right in the eye, Buggy. That's mine. That's my journey. Okay, Jennifer Aniston. All right, you, cool. <laughs> she still doesn't return my calls. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> yeah, no, that restraining order stuff is expired, I think. Yeah, that's bull crap. <laughs> yeah, it's, she's worth going to jail for a month for, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. They cover her on Rolling Stone with her butt. I'm like, oh, I just so would love to smack that ass. I mean... <laughs> she's still she's still a good looking woman and she don't need all that makeup and all that stuff either I'll sniff me some fish heck yeah <laughs> he sniffs fish Bad weather like is a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know, John, I think you're right. Because I'm fat, that's why my toes are hurting this morning. I really need to do something about that before I have a heart attack. Yeah, I hope you didn't do what you nah, nah, me. Nah. But no, we're good, brother. Because that's not what they're meant for. <laughs> yep, easy. That's for backstage. But yeah, no. I miss 70s when they may actually made speed. Yeah. You can buy some speed for high school and stay up and study all night for finals like I ever done now. <laughs> Anybody. We ain't nerds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I got a C, I'm fucking doing it right. You're right. Still get to say it. Doesn't, you know, on your school record, it doesn't say nothing but a credit for that class when it's all said and done. You got one credit. I got one credit. Didn't say anything about our grade. What a, what do they call a doctor who graduated last in his class? Uh, a veterinarian. Got by with D's. They call him <laughs> doctor. Oh, I thought it was the veterinarian joke. No. Couldn't cut it as a doctor, so he's a veterinarian. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> this, they, they, the, your dogs and stuff, they all get the same kind of medicine as the humans. It's just, yep. a, different dose, just a different dose. Yep. And uh, people aren't so mad, aren't as mad if you kill their dog as they are if you kill their loved ones. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Some people get yeah. awful mad. That's true. That's true. <laughs> End up killing. <laughs> doing and, and doing a going postal on the bat guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to run down and get some Red Bull. So I will and get incognito here for. Oh. Buggy, let's, let's be real. You're not running. You're going to walk out there through the vehicle. Oh, and oh yeah. Hit. I'm going to walk out the car and drive my fat feet hurting ass down there. I ain't going to lie. Gonna say, let's be clear. Buggy's not yeah. running anywhere. You know, a whole lot of run goes on with me. That's a <laughs> that'd, call. That'd be like, yeah, that'd be just like Curtis running. Yep, that's not happening. Nope. If a bear comes, I'm the one that dies. <laughs> I just got to be faster and buggy. That's right. <laughs> In my case, I got to be faster than Eric. <laughs> waddle to the truck. That's right, John. He's just going to waddle to the truck, turn it on, pray it starts, and then go down to the store. It looks like the penguin on the old Batman show. Yeah, he does. Summertime. That's getting ready to happen, actually. I am going to run down and get me a Red Bull. I had one. He needs to get a pack of them. All right, I'll be back here directly. I may have to use the bathroom first. We'll see. Tim from Catfish Dog. That's right. I'll be left to fight the bear. <laughs> Tim ain't running either. March of the Penguins. He'd have a whole bunch of us. <laughs> we'll be like, uh, what's his name in that one movie where that bear got a hold of him? 
Oh, I can't remember the name of that one guy. It was a good movie, and the bear. The bear took his uh, backside like a P. Diddy party. <laughs> I can't name that movie. It was it was a big movie though. Well, I hope everybody had an awesome week. At least most of us had a, a better weekend than Dominic. The bear from Super Troopers. Yeah. That was funny. Every time I see that movie, Super Troopers, it reminds me of Uncle Lou. <laughs> Dave from Double Hook. Being in a wheelchair. I just hope somebody can push me really fast to get away from a bear, either that or the, the snack. The Gregory's got your back, Dave. <laughs> Buggy says, okay, Pop woke up. I got to get coffee before I go. Tim from Catfish Dog said, after being hit by a car, I can't run anymore. So I fight the bear. <laughs> I was thinking that too, John. Push Dave downhill and let him figure it out. Yeah. Dave, you got brakes on that wheelchair? <laughs> well, Dave, I'll tell you what. If we got to run uphill, yeah. You're just going to turn into a Scooby snack for that bear. <laughs> Uncle Lou is Barbara. <laughs> Oops, I wasn't supposed to read that out loud. <laughs> yeah, that would uh, that was that was a funny show that. I forget they came out with a, a, a TV show of them guys, the Super Troopers. Eh? What was it, Canada and, uh, well, that was Super Troopers too, Canada and uh, Vermont. Where Vermont took a, uh, took a piece of Canada back. Eh? Has the maple syrup up here, eh? Oops, that's kind of Irishy. <laughs> eh? Yep, everybody pretty much left buggy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Man, how I missed the old hog leg show. So, Dave, you and I will be going eat him. No, eat him. Yeah, FD, that's what it was called. Kind of like Super Troopers, but it's about fire department. Yeah, well, they, they couldn't hack it in the police department, so they're over to being fire department guys. But they're pretty much the same guys that were in the Super Trooper movies, Dave. Anybody ever watch that cocaine bear that was on... Uh, See, I, I watched it on the uh, Peacock channel, or the Peacock Network or whatever. That was funny. This isn't the boar's nest. Maybe I should set the bowl down. Ah. Yeah. Oh, Hoggy, he stays and plays video games now. He plays his fishing and his farming game. I was hoping to get an update on those the worms that he has. I know he was talking about um, bringing some of them to the gathering. We watched Cocaine Bear. It was hilarious. Yeah. Who's dumb enough to want to go up to a bear and pet it? Not this guy. Yeah, I know, John. He On a video game. He was farming last night. I'll plant some corn. I'll plant some corn.
It, I think Coach was on there too, which was a shocker. We haven't seen Coach in a while. That was my nickname in the 80s, Small World. <laughs> John needed to watch that. Oh, she she bought the co uh, she bought Cocaine Bear the movie. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, I, I liked it, but I I, <laughs> I just thought it was stupid. Who who wants to go up and pet a bear? I don't care what drugs you're on. I don't think I'm going up and petting a bear. That's like these people like Zach that want to have snakes for pets. I just, that's just, that's not logical. And <laughs> John, buggy texting from the bathroom. <laughs> and he puts the lotion on or he'll get the hose again. I'm gl I'm glad you're making the coffee because if if mom went over there and messed with the coffee grinder again, there, buggy. <laughs> uh oh, somebody said something in chat. Hey, Donald Knight, I can't bring you up, brother. Wrong, wrong channel. That buggy would have to bring you up. I have absolutely no power. Gregory watched it a couple times. Hey, hey, Dave, double hook. I'm I'm real proud of Gregory. I see him in a lot of chats now. Not to mention, he seems to be the uh, the fisherman over there in the family, huh, Dave? <laughs> Yeah, for whoever's trying to come up here, I, there's no way I can't bring anybody up. I'm not looking at that picture, Bug. <laughs> you can know imagine what Buggy sent you. Part-timers aren't given any keys to the company car, Curtis. It is standard access all. <laughs> Come on, Mikey. Give me, you give me the keys. <laughs> He's doing really good. Talk to people online. I wish he would do it in person. Yeah, I didn't get to meet you guys there at CatCon. Like, like you said, you had to, weren't feeling well. You guys had it back to the hotel. <laughs> Bug sent me a text from the bathroom with a pick nope he said wow john look at the deuce i just dropped <laughs> all right donald back to work he said the fist is all about gregory sometimes i just sit and watch yeah he said i will no inside jokes for you that's right tim Tim, you and Rick, man, you, you guys are catching some big catfish over there. I mean, I always said, you know, Tim, you want to go, but if Rick's going to be your 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 partner, yeah, no, I don't think I want to go. Rick can catch some fish. Oh, that wasn't public knowledge. Dave from Double Hook says, I'm a competitive person. When it comes to fishing, I don't. I, I switched that. Sorry. <laughs> Good morning, right, wild man, Rick. Thanks for the thumbs up, buddy. I was just teasing too. Double hook. I, I, I know I'm not competitive person. You said. I just switched that around. <laughs> John, yeah. <laughs> I 
Hey, Rick, get out there and catch you some hogs, buddy. I can't wait to see the pictures. He said, good luck, my road dog. Talk, talking to Rick there. Rick does catch some good fish. At least all the pictures that I always keep seeing, I, there, there's some good fish. Broke back Bob. You turd, you can chat and chat there. Picks coming soon. All right, Rick. Hey, y'all make sure you go over and tune in to Retired Rick on What's Up Wednesdays. He does that at nine. He's a good dude. One day I might have to pop up there. And... Brian B, do you even fish anymore, bro? Well, what a beautiful morning. 63 degrees and sunny right now. And Brian still can't catch a fish. That's sad. Okay, now I'm going to get Red Bull. John, you're officially out of the He-Man People Hater Club, by the way. <laughs> oh, you've been booted. Catfish Dog says, Hump Day Wednesday. Brian, you ever get a motor for that boat? Did you beat, or did you beat, just beat the crap out of it with the sledgehammer? I'll get that thing started. <laughs> Deuce dropped, and he's off to the store. <laughs> yeah. Buggy hopped up off of there. John said, it's going to be a good day. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, hope you remembered the wipe though, John. That's that's the thing. Miss Rhonda, good morning, good morning, good morning. Itty bitty, good morning, if you're out there listening too. Got to check the fuel pump. I'm almost there, though. This week, I should be done. Hey, Brian, when you get it, when you get it ready, you want to go? <laughs> he kicked the crap out of me. He, he, catches, he catches all those dinks. They add up. That's one way to lose weight. He is. He said hi, Curtis. Well, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I knew what you said there, Miss Rhonda. Yeah, I can't wait to see Brian and E out there fishing again. This week I should be done. Last words spoken before new motor. <laughs> Going to be taking on Uncle Lou first. <laughs> hey, you're going to pick on the handicapped, are you, Brian? You know Scooter can't get around. <laughs> It'd be good seeing Brian back out there. Yep, and Brian, you didn't. You did a very good job this weekend too, buddy. There ain't no, that ain't me kissing nobody's butt. But I, th I thought you, if there was like a contest between the three of you, I thought you did a very good job. Even though I'm a big Chad fan, I thought you did it. You interact with the fans and everything, and you're clear and everything. That's just my opinion. I know I'll get hate on it, but I don't care. Chad did good too, but I, I just think you, you did a little bit better than he did. He's a butt kisser. Yep, that's me. Lou going to one versus one with you, Brian B. <laughs> Nubby said butt kisser. <laughs> I 
All right, Dave, you be blessed too, buddy. No, 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 John. We ain't doing none of that. <laughs> Morning, nubbies. Then we this weekend was rough. Them jokers weren't catching no fish. I had to talk the whole show. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you I thought you did an excellent job. Mr. Chad, you know, his team was catching all the fish, so he really didn't have to do all the talking. Buggy is out there driving. But I like how you interacted, made sure you, you kept up with chat and everything too. So not saying that Kevin and uh, Mr. Chad didn't do that either, but I'm just saying if I had to pick, you know, because I was bouncing between the three channels. Now I'll see how you guys are going to do the four channels because that would be hard for everybody to keep clicking through there. Buggy had to waddle back to the bathroom. He's <laughs> commenting again. <laughs> Miss Rhonda said, oh, poor Bubbles. Do y'all hear that? It's the word, world's smallest violin playing for Bubbles. <laughs> mm. I hope you still got me and Eric written down, Brian, for the Midnight Madness. That's the one me and Eric really would like to do. Like I told Mr. Chad, I would like to do his winter blues, but it's just too cold for us. There's my buddy, Zach. I was talking about you earlier, brother. Catfish biking. He's got his kayak ready to go. Buggy's still sitting in the driveway. You know him. He's in no hurry. Buggy, while you're out, get me a Snickers. He said, oh, Lord, what did I do now? Now, nah, just praising you. Telling everybody they ought to go over there and watch your channel because you're about to start catching some fish, brother. Give me a bag of M&Ms, Buggy. Don't be cheap. Give me the family bag. <laughs> That's right, John. Buggy said 15 minutes. We're at 12 minutes, and he hasn't left. <laughs> but Buggy will come back with an empty can of Red Bull. Oh, good Lord, I got to go get another one. Buggy should have bought like two or three of them while you were there. <laughs> I'm behind the bucket. Yeah. Hooks up. I really don't like three different tournaments. I feel like I will miss something in the last two tournaments. I don't know who won. Morning, Northview Outdoors. Hey, hooks up. Uh, I would tell you to hook. Uh, go ahead and get on Palmetto. Uh, Palmetto's channel, Brian B. He does a really good job. And Phil the water, Mr. Chad. He does an awesome job. And I would just bounce back and forth to the channels. But like uh, if you watched uh, Chad from Fields to Waters, he would go to Brian's channel. He would bring up Brian's channel and he would bring up Kevin's channel. So I, Chad did it. Chad also did a very, very good job. But I liked Brian because he was uh, he was entertaining and he kept up with the chat. Note to self. Don't make plans with Buggy. <laughs> Northview, I'm hoping I can get my brother up so we can go up there to Hoover. And hooked up, I have no idea. I can't, could not tell you who won this weekend. I, I watched, but I couldn't tell you. All I know is Jody didn't win. Yeah. <laughs> we got an 11th on Saturday. Yep. 
Oh, I was watch, trying to watch you, Northview, and I was trying to watch uh, Catching Fish with, with us because uh, you guys were up there fishing on Hoover, and that's where me and my brother, we like to fish. You guys were up in the North Pool. I like it being on one channel. Yeah, so do I, but it's a tournament. It is what it is. Team My Bad Dude won. Oh, yeah, I know who that is. It's old Bobcat. Probably one with that big old flathead he caught. Who's Bobcat and what is it? Uh, Brandon. For Sizzle. They went to Louisiana. Buggy says, I'm never late. Yeah, wind was bad. Yeah, me and my brother, we always have to anchor up when the wind's out there. Of course, we got a pontoon, so well, I like you guys got. I watch Brian B's channel since he is the only one who does not have ads on during the tournament. I wasn't I wasn't going down that ra rabbit hole, Miss Rhonda. <laughs> I way too many commercials. I like the Freddy and the Mad Cats and that kind of commercials, but while I'm watching it, all of a sudden YouTube throws up the commercial. It just, uh, I'm on my good buddy Hoglegs side when it comes to that. I, it's, it's very hard to watch. <laughs> Brian, what? No ads? I thought I turned those on. <laughs> F you, Brian. F you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm not a hater. You know, I I watched all three of the channels. It's just it, it is hard to watch when the YouTube commercials pop on when you're trying to watch. And like I always say, Brian was very entertaining. I mean, Chad and, and uh, Kevin were entertaining too, but he he kept up with the chat and all that. Like he said, his team wasn't catching. Well, he had Danny on there. How do you get words in Edgewoods? Yeah, the pontoon is my first partner. It's pretty cool. Easy setup. Easier to move on Hoover. Yep. Motor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't want to get a bigger motor up there on Hoover. <laughs> I hope they do uh, something with the pier up there, Northview. I wish they'd wrap that pier all the way around if they go to uh, fix it, the one that's up in Galena. I hope they wrap it all the way back around where it comes back through the woods where they got that other walking path. I wish they'd wrap that all the way around that way. I think that would be pretty cool. Look, we used to fish off of there before we got our boat. Northview said, good morning, Brian B. Yeah, I agree with you, Rhonda. Commercials during lives is fine, but not a tournament. Nope. It makes it hard for the rest of us that are watching. Like I said, if you, anybody had any like questions or anything like that, that they had any kind of ideas or anything, they should send them to Brian B, Kevin from Palmetto Cats, or Chad from Fields of Water, or Two Stands, Two Stands Fishing. Or if you got any complaints, send them to D Fields from Fields of Water. <laughs> if you have any kind of complaints, send it to her. <laughs> or send it to Brian, and Brian will direct you straight. <laughs> Or they are not going to fix the boardwalk. Yeah, I finished off that, and they could COVID hit, and then it used to shut down with the structure issues. Yeah, they had the tree that hit the one side of it from where the little walnut comes in, and it damaged it. But I, I, I heard they're going to go ahead and repair it. I heard they're going to uh, fix it, and they're going to do 
they're going to turn it into like a cement thing, but they have to get the core engineer out there. No, yeah, no, Rhonda, I'm saying that. Yeah, I'm saying that. Curtis is saying it. <laughs> Don't forget your $40 complaint fee. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mess is. I message D. I message Chad. I don't message Brian because he's a busy man. Yeah. I think if you go up to Galena, the Galena, whatever it's called, yeah, they had a thing where they um, passed and it's supposed to, uh, it's supposed to get repaired. I have a laptop and two motors on my PC. Easy peasy. <laughs> what are you talking about, Buggy? Don't forget my M&Ms while you're there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if you ever fit. Hey, Mike Irvin. I don't know if you ever fished off the pier. I mean, that up there was like a crappie magnet place. We'd catch crappie up there like crazy up there. Mike Urban, MI6, uh, old Leroy would say. Good morning, buddy. Cootie Jody, I'm ready for the next one. It's at nighttime tournament. Yeah. What it? Yeah, Brian, what is the next one? Yeah. Yeah, Northview. <laughs> you leave Hoover, and then next thing you know, that's when they're biting up there. <laughs> I'd be like catching fish with us. Uh, if it's a, a weight issue, I'd go up there to uh, Sandusky Bay. Oh, a live bait challenge? I got gotcha. you. The Iron Cat. That's what it is. Thanks, Miss Jody. Thanks, Brian. Live bait challenge. Thanks, Brian. That's going to be on all three of your channels again. See, that's that's the thing I, sh I was going to message uh, Chad. Maybe Brian could go ahead and answer it. How do you guys determine who's going to be on your guys' channel out of all the people? You're on the clock to catch fish on this one. Yeah. Flathead, nighttime, and live bait. I always wondered that one, Brian. How, how do you determine who's going to be on your channel? Do you guys pick who gets to be on your channel, or is it just random? The spin of the wheel, as Mike Greenwell would say. <laughs> Because I'm I'm sure the 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 people that's going to be in the tournament they don't get a pick who's what channel they're on. I am curious. I I, I probably am still going to message Chad. When I beat the stuffing out of J Dog, I'd want to put it on Brian's channel. One of us just pick the roster. Ah. So it's just random. Gotcha. I was kind of thinking that too without saying it out loud, Miss Jody. <laughs> I was wondering if they don't pick teams and betting to see whose team ranks best. <laughs> I was I was thinking that. I was thinking that. <laughs> A little side bet between the three of them. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if they did that, but they don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the year, when they they check the stats and everything, at the end of the year, they're still keeping a score. It gives them a little bit of bragging rights for the next year. <laughs> Could be hilarious. That would be that would be hilarious. Adventures and stories with F four C. He said, "Hey, buggy. Good morning." Well, they were talking about who had the most thumbs up on Saturday. So maybe there's something there. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle B says, nope, I will never tell. <laughs> A little bit of side hustle from Brian B. But Brian was winning with the thumbs up uh, there for a while, but I think... Uh, I think uh, Kevin won with the thumbs up, I think. Because I think, um, oh, Dieter Melhorn come in there. Hey, 8217, Dieter Melhorn came in there on uh, Chad's channel and said, nope. <laughs> you know, Dieter Melhorn, he's a big Chad Fields of Water supporter. He loves him some Chad. Of course, Chad ain't never going to tell anybody that either. Chad and them might, uh, on the bait shop, they might. <laughs> Chad paid for the thumbs up. Chad might have Dieter Melhorn on the bait shop. You never know. Is this like a knock-knock joke? Okay, hey, what? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Rhonda. <laughs> it's something I used to do over there on the Hog Lake channel all the time. <laughs> Chad. Chad's a good person. I hope everybody gets to meet Chad in real life. He's he's awesome. That and his wonderful wife, Miss D. She uh she she's the uh captain on that boat. Well that was my joke Saturday. I was on Brian's on the first tournament and then Kevin's last weekend. They won the thumbs up with me on their channel. LO I was bringing the thumbs up. Yeah. There you go, Northview. What are you trying to say? You did better over there on Brian's channel and did worse over there on Kevin's channel? <laughs> 217, you fishing today, bro? Everybody goes around saying, bro, bro, bro. Nope, you just got off of work. We placed on Kevin's. <laughs> Whoops. I messed that one up for you there, Northview. Jody still ain't got that trolling motor. I know where you can get one, Jody. <laughs> I'm from New Jersey. That's how we talk, brah. Yeah. Jody, you can just take it right off of James's boat. He'll never know. <laughs> I don't know if NJ was in here. <laughs> NJ Maniac. I would sit there and I'd talk like my Jersey boy.
Uh, NJ was in here this morning. I didn't. I haven't seen him since. NJ is our bread, 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 bread man. Other than retail, for a while, does that count or something? <laughs> sure does, Miss Rhonda. I found one like James, as Bob said, he would put it on. That's cool. Buggy says NJ's fishing right now. Is he live? Because if, if NJ is walking all over me, I'm going to punch him right dead in the throat. The ball, the marathon's on right now. Yeah, me and NJ have been friends a few years now. We're hoping to go fishing together. Well, I, I apologize to you there, F, F4C. <laughs> yeah, he, that's probably right. He probably, he's probably only uh, going to record it. <laughs> NJ's he's a good kid. I like him. I miss seeing him out there fishing and then running from those bears. <laughs> he used to get scared of the bears that used to come up behind him. You see how close that was? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I I don't want to lie to you, NJ, but uh, I wanted to see you get chased by one. <laughs> That and uh, we talked him into using chicken for bait. Then the next day, he got that salmonella poisoning. Don't lick your fingers, Jinj. <laughs> I hope you get that uh, trolley motor there, Jody. That's right, Northview. Not too many things try to eat you out here. <laughs> That's right. For the most part, we usually have good weather, but uh, here lately, we've had, what, 19 tornadoes? Buggy, hurry the heck back home. I'm I'm probably gonna have to jump off of here. I'm here, quit whining. Where's my M and M's at? I ate them on the way home. I tried not to, but come on, buggy. Whole bucket full too. You ate a whole bucket. Forget that. Yeah, forget the big bag. I ain't gonna play with that. That's Just a, a snack. Yeah, a whole bucket and didn't even come back and share. I got to move in here where my PC's at. I can't stay in that room no more. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't the worst thing me. I have to worry about. They say raccoons. <laughs> They're like gangs around here. <laughs> 217. <laughs> and, and, wait. Where's my m ms at? I hate them. Why do you have to jump up here anyway? You ain't got nowhere to be. Uh, I got to wake Eric up. I might be going fishing. Well, wake him up while we're on here. I want to hear. <laughs> I got to take my medicine and whatnot, too. Well, yeah, I can, I can hear you now. Wake up, honey. It's time to get up, brother. Brother, we're going to go play. Sure, that's yeah, that's exactly get how I'll wake him up. Get up, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting right. in this, too, because I got stuff I got to get done today. Yep, that 9 o'clock comes flying through here. I don't know what it is I got to get done, but I'm sure I got stuff to get done. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully you get that appraisal. Yeah, I got to email this guy. He never did call me back about doing the inspection. It's a purchase. Yeah. So who knows, man? The last one they canceled because the people were idiots. Mm, it sucks. It's the nicest form of idiot. Yeah. So now I got to get my crap together. That's my notes from the show Friday. There we go. 
Now, Here's before I, now before I leave, are you doing a show tomorrow? Uh, hell, I don't know. I suppose I the other night might have been yesterday or day before whatever. I asked Wolfson if he wanted to do Tuesday and Wednesday. I just right. had a point to make. Buggy, I don't want you burning yourself out, buddy. Yeah, no worries. But I had a point to make because he said he was going to squash the bug. So I figured last week I'd let him see how many people each show got in. Did he even go live? Who was? Yeah, I guess he did last week. I didn't even notice. Hey, if F4C, I ain't, it, it'd be 30 minutes before I get sh before I shut down, dude. When I say I'm getting ready to shut down, <laughs> That's you right. gotta understand the bug man pace. <laughs> hey, <laughs> slow and steady. I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> Boston Marathon just started, Buggy. Oh, I know, but it's, it's nice tomorrow. If the weather says it's going to be this nice tomorrow, I may do my show fishing. I don't know yet. <sighs> yeah, that'd be nice. Let's run this I'm going to. That's my first thing I'm going to do today is run the vacuum. Good morning. Good morning, Mama Bug. She doesn't realize I'm still on talking to you guys. She thought I was talking to her. <laughs> but she can't see. The bunk bed. Bunk bed. And wake her. Go. Uh, on that bunk bed stuff. <laughs> Miss Jody, she's a she's a ball of laughs. Out there, yes they are. Yes, that's the first thing I'm gonna do today. I'm move everything out. Back yep. We love you too, Miss Jody. Yeah. You want me to get that? Pops the water with mirror lax. I think that's what keeps him going good. Yeah, yeah. I figured I would here and here. Here, I gave you this. You. His in the crossings. Yeah. I had to take two things today, mine, two hours apart. Huh. Because I, I'm going to have her turn my thumbs up a little. Yeah. I don't want to. I'm going to crank that bad boy up. Crank me a pump bull, Doc. And, uh, but it's also that horse. Hey, there is a good match I'd like to see. Skipjack Cindy taking on Pontoon Jody. That'd be a good one to watch. It'll be one of them days today. Would someone shoot me, please? I'm trying to peek in. Hello, hello. Don't work too hard, Cindy. Damn it. F. Adventures said that he's gonna be on at uh, 10 a.m. Who is? He's gonna start doing adventures and stories with F4C. Oh. Yeah, cool. He said he's getting ready to go live at 10. That's cool. I'm a digging it. Chocolate. <laughs> well, you know, we'll have the whole day covered. <laughs> Miss Jody. I don't ever get anything done anymore. Jody, <laughs> I want to lift these cushions up. Yeah, Miss Miss Jody, I replace you with a Kit Kat. Yeah. <laughs> oh dang! Don't laugh. You're gonna be here someday, Curtis. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it right now. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably closer than you Yeah, I remember I'm the same age as the dog. Spilled a bunch of sugar type stuff on the floor now. It's all over my feet. My day just keeps getting better. I'm going to go out back and shoot my gun for a little bit. That might help. Well, hey, Buggy, I'm going to hop off here real quick. If, if, okay, if brother, you don't. Appreciate it. I'm getting Dad some water and I'll be back over here at my dad. Buggy, if you don't get up within five minutes or whatever, I'll come back up here. No worries. Come backstage here in a little bit. Get, right. get the link so you have it. All right, buddy. All right. I appreciate it. 
Later, everybody. What's up, Teal? Huh? Did you just come in? Oh, I did. Yeah, I came in. Okay. Yeah, I can't. Man, I don't think I gave him anything yet because he didn't say nothing when he got up. I'm coming to old Hogan. Y'all's killing me over here, man. How many snacks you had this morning for going in and out? More than you deserve, I know that. Here, old guy. Oh, I'm talking to these dumb dogs. Hold on, guys. I'm getting the dogs or dad some water. I'll be right back. There you go, little man. Well, if you don't want it, kill you'll eat it. You know this. I'm going to put it right there in front of you. What you do with it is up to you. There you go, ice water. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's only 72 in here. It sure feels warmer than 72 in here. All right, I'm good now. Sorry. Oh, one of them days. I should probably not do anything that involves important stuff today, the way my luck's going. <laughs> yeah, so if anybody talks wolf, then have them holler at me. If he wants to do Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll see. I don't care. And then that leaves me at Monday and Friday and Rustic on Thursdays. Are you fishing, Cindy? Let's see here what I missed in chat while I was getting water and feeding dogs and spilling stuff on the floor. I uh, was putting some stuff in Pop's water. It's, it's granuled stuff about like the texture of, of uh, sugar. And I spilled a whole bunch of it on the floor. So I had to get the dust mop thing and try to pick it up, which didn't go real well. What till, huh? No, you no, forget that, man. Leave me alone. You guys played me all morning. Oh, sneaking in and out of work. I see. You know, when they had the big automobile factories here in town, uh, a lot of guys they come in in the morning and take off for lunch and not go back. And one day, pick one guy to stay and clock everybody out afterwards. And they would go home and just let parts go by. That's why your cars in the 70s fell apart and rusted. <sighs> but they cracked down on that, I suppose, because the cars are a little better. It's amazing these days, car-wise. When I was younger, I didn't have much money, and we always drove used cars, and heck, you didn't know if it was going to start half the time in the mornings. Well, now, hell, you can buy a 12-year-old car and get in it and half the time 90 percent of the time you only have to worry about whether it starts or not hey randy how are you buddy oh i know i was gonna look up this guy's number and text him let's see which one is his
I think it's that one. Let's see. Anybody got any good plans this week? Yep, ain't got there. Let's see if we got it in the call log. Four four eight five four four eight five. I think that's the one then. Oh, I'm I'm I gotta send this guy a text real quick. I'm supposed to appraise the house and he's supposed to call me back and he didn't, so I'm sending him a text real quick. Oh, okay, cool, F four C. You getting ready to go live, are you? If you are, then I'll shut this thing off. I'm about over it anyway, the kind of day I'm having. I gotta look at the calendar real quick too to see what day I can do it now. You're going live at 10 a.m. Oh, okay, it's nine here. That's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard, Central Pacific, Polynesian Island, Australian. Yeah, what's our address? 3819. North Cadet. <laughs> Hey, Chris, are you guys going to do any lives when you guys get out there with him? Man, I'd sure like to see some of that. Because if I remember correctly, he goes to a couple of them places that's got some pretty good current to him, but he catches big fish at most of them, too. That should actually turn into a really good fishing trip, I would say. Doesn't he have a pretty big boat, too? Hold on, I'm still texting. I know I'm slow. <laughs> Tilly, you better stop. Are you kidding me? What, do you want to go out again? You just came in the freaking door. You're kidding me. I'm going to throw you all out leave you out there all day. I set a bowl of water out there and see you tonight when I decide to let you back in. There. Now quit playing with me, man. You're bothering me. Get knuckle brain. I think you're just doing it to get treats. So this is a no treat trip. That's what it is. It's a no treat trip for Tilly. You know what, guys? You guys, I'm sorry. This is such a horrible show today. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, Overslept, started off bad, and it just went downhill from there. So, no treat trip. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I tell them when they when she's because she's bad. She'll play mom like that and go in and out, in and out, and keep getting treats. So I have to let her know this is a no treat trip. And she'll still come in and sit down by the kitchen waiting on a treat, wait and see. But anyway, I think I'm gonna shut this down. Uh, it's been a whole lot of fun. 
not really, but I'm going to act like I had a good time today, so I'm a good host, I reckon. Anyway, uh, y'all jump over to F4C's channel. He's going live, I reckon. Or they, I'm sorry, I don't remember the uh, pronouns you go by. <laughs> I said pronouns. <laughs> and uh, if y'all ain't got nothing to do, jump over to his live and see what's happening. I'm going to jump over here in a little bit. I got to keep reaching out to this guy and get this damn appointment set before the lender gets mad. Yeah, you're right, Jody. So we'll call it an okay show. And tomorrow, I guarantee the greatest show there ever was. By me at that time, on that day. <laughs> it's kind of like I'll tell my little dog when he jumps up in my lap, I'll be, who is the cutest dog in the world on my lap at this very moment? That way he has little competition. <laughs> And uh, Uncle Lou, j Dog, snag that link if you want to come around. You know what I'm talking about. I'll see y'all backstage here in a little bit. With that, God bless y'all. I've been a horrible Christian last week, and I got to make up for that. So me and God had a talk yesterday. And uh, I apologize for being a grouch. And... I got to reach out to uh, Becca and apologize for being a guy. She'll probably never talk to me again, but I don't blame her. I wouldn't either, just to be honest with you. But I got to apologize so I feel good. I uh, I was wrong, and I'm a big enough man to admit when I'm wrong. So I got stuff to take care of this week. Rennie, gray hair brother, I'm sorry you got in so late. And uh, everybody jump over and... Give F4C a, a, a follow and, and thumbs up and stuff in his live you, and uh, help him out there, guys. Everybody starts out here. And uh, I know when I first come in here, y'all was awesome to me. So I, uh, I always try to share that alone and treat people the same that are new until they earn otherwise, you know. And with that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully at 5 a.m., if someone knows me and has my number and I'm not here by 510, text me, please, and wake me up. I would greatly appreciate it. Hold on a minute. Hold on real fast. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. I can do my appraisal inspection at 5 p.m. Okay, I actually got a little bit of free time now. Uh, I'm going to jump over there to FC4s. But the guy I've been trying to get a hold of just texted me back and said, how about tomorrow at 5 p.m.? And I'm like, yes, that works for me. I just got to figure out what the date tomorrow is. Ooh, day's tax day. I already filed my extension, so I don't care. Hey, downtown Ernie Brown, how are you, buddy? So tomorrow's the 16th. So it'll be 2D, the 16th, 5 p.m. We got work, baby. Hey, Ernie, uh, grab the link, brother, and come backstage. I'm getting ready to shut this down. Uh, I got some stuff I got to take care of, and I can't really do the show while I'm doing it. So, uh. I'll see you back there. You guys, F4C's channel, head over. He uh, posted a link right there, I'm pretty sure. All right, Ernie, come on in. Let's talk, brother. And with that, guys, this show is officially over. It shall be chalked up and marked as the worst damn show I ever did. So, uh, but I guess a, a bad show is better than no show, right? Wait, I wasn't no show for an hour. I better not give John no ammunition if he's still around. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Have a great day.